so this is linux endeavor os and this is the latest version so this version has the latest plasma version which is 6.1 so i'm going to download the operating system and i'm going to install it in a desktop computer so i already created a bootable usb drive using rufus so if you want to download the operating system you just have to click on download and these are the mirrors here so i already downloaded the iso file so I booted up the desktop computer with a USB drive. I'm going to select the USB drive to boot up from. So on this boot menu, there are some choices. There's the default and there's NVIDIA. So if you have an NVIDIA card, you can choose this option. I'm going to select the first option. Okay, this is a welcome menu. There are two sections, install and general info. So in the install section, there's start the installer. You can update mirrors here. There's a petition manager. You can change display resolution. And there's some tips here, installation tips. So there's Bluetooth nodes, latest release info, installation tips. I click on general info. And you can click on any one of these and find out more information. I'm gonna click on start the installer. So here you have to choose your installation method. There's online and there's offline. So online method lets you choose your desktop. Internet connection is required and after install system is up to date. Offline method gives you the KDE desktop. Internet connection is not needed. After install updating system is recommended. I'm going to choose online. So this is the installer menu. Here you have to choose your language. I'm going to leave it as American English and click next. This is the location. You can choose your location here, choose your region, choose a zone. You can also move this red dot to your region and zone. I'll click next. So this is the keyboard settings and layout. I'm going to leave it as is. I'll click next. So here you have to choose your desktop and these are the selections. So there's no desktop. There's Plasma KDE, and this is a preview, and this is an explanation here. This is GNOME, XFCE4. This is Cinnamon, Mate. This is Budgie. This is LXQT, LXDE. This is I3WM. I'm going to select Plasma KDE. I'll click next. So this is the packages section and this is an overview of packages to install and a possibility to refine your selection. There's also a drop down tab here. And here you can check and uncheck any one of these. So I'm going to leave it as default. I'll click next. So here is where you choose your bootloader. There's the grub and there's no bootloader. I'm going to leave it at grub. I'll click next. This is a partition section. Here you have to select your storage device. I only have one hard drive in this computer. So these are the options. Install alongside, replace a partition, erase this or manual partitioning. So install alongside is if you have another operating system, you would like to install Endeavor OS alongside that operating system. You can choose this option. I'm going to select Erase Disk. So there's no swap, swap, no hibernation, swap it hibernation and swap to file. I'm going to leave it as no swap. So I have to choose the file system. There's extended for and BTRFS. I'm going to select BTRFS. This is also the bootloader location. I'm going to leave it as default. Click next. So I have to create a user account here. I'm going to type a name. I'll type a password. So there are two options here. Login automatically without asking for password. I'm going to leave that unchecked. And use the same password for the administrator account. I'm going to leave that checked. I'll click next. 
This is a summary of the settings and selections. I'll click install. Install now. So it's all done. I'm going to select restart now. Click none. Okay, so this is the login page. So on the lower left side, there's virtual keyboard and there's desktop session. And there are two options here, Plasma VLAN and Plasma X11. I'm going to leave it as Plasma VLAN. I'm going to log in. So this is the welcome page. There's general info after install. You can update the system from here. There's assistant. This is tips. And you can also add more apps. I'm going to close this. So on the lower left side, this is the application launcher. So there's favorites, all applications. This is development. This is graphics. This is internet. This is multimedia. This is office. Settings. This is system. This is utilities. This is the Dolphin file manager. So there's home, there's desktop, documents, downloads, music, pictures, videos, trash. I'll open some of the pictures. I'll click on show editing tools. This is mirror. This is flip. I'll open this PDF document. So it opened with Ocula. So on the right side, this is the peak at desktop icon. This is the time and date. This is status and notifications. This is the network icon. So this computer is connected to the internet by ethernet cable. I click on the speaker icon and these are some of the settings. I can also configure the audio devices here. So I'm going to right click the desktop, select desktop on wallpaper. I can also select get new wallpapers. So I'm going to download the reef wallpaper. So I'll open Firefox. And I'll download the Reef wallpaper here. So this is the Reef wallpaper. I'm going to save the image. I'll click on Add. Click on Downloads. I'll select the Reef.png file. So 
So one of the features of the KDE Plasma 6.1 is the shake cursor feature. I just have to shake the cursor on the screen and the cursor increases in size. So I'm going to enable the cube feature. I'm going to go to settings, system settings. I'll select windows management. I'll select virtual desktops. So there's only one virtual desktop here. I'm going to increase it to five. I'm going to click on add desktop. I'll click apply and it shows here on the panel. I'll select desktop effects. So I'm going to scroll all the way down to windows management. So under Windows Management, this is Q. I'm going to select the checkbox, click Apply. So to enable the Q feature, I'm going to hold down the Windows key and the C key. And this is the Q feature. And to get out of this screen, just hit the Escape key on the keyboard. So on desktop effects, there's a lot of features here. So I'll right click the panel. I'm going to select show panel configuration. So these are the panel settings. I can change the height of the panel here. The default is 44. I'll click on position so I can move the panel position. I'll click on the left arrow and the panel is on the left side. I'll click on the right arrow and the panel is on the right side. I'll click on the up arrow and it's here. So I'm going to leave the panel on the default position. So I'll right click the panel again. I'm going to select add widgets. And these are some of the widgets. You can also search for widgets here. I'm going to drag the clock to the desktop. I'll remove this widget. I'm going to install GIMP, so I'll open the console terminal. So this is the command to install a package. So I'm using the yay command. I'll type my password. Type Y for yes. And GIMP is installed. And it's here. I'm also going to install KRunner. I'll type Y for yes. And it's installed. So I'm going to open KRunner. To do that, on the keyboard, I'm going to hold down the Alt key and the Space key. So I can search, for example, VLC. So you can get more information about the new Plasma KDE 6.1 version and some of the new features are listed here. So these are some of the specs. The kernel version is 6.9.7. So the Plasma version is 6.1.1. This is the CPU and the GPU. So I want to thank you for watching and I thank you for subscribing.